nothing can break me. Hi guys, I'm Emma. Hey guys, I'm John, and we're Emma and John, you're welcome. Welcome back if you've been here before, and if you're brand new, then thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you'd like to stick around and join us in all of our adventures. You can do that by hitting the little subscribe button. You know what it is, it's in the corner. If you do hit the subscribe button, then please make sure to turn the notification bell as well, and then you'll be notified every single time we post. Absolutely. Can you believe it's been a whole <laughs> month? We always say this. Mm -hmm. It goes by super quick at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time for our August wrap-up. It is, yes. So if you've been watching these, or if you've watched our channel for a while, you know that we like categories. Of so course. we're starting off with the YouTube category. As always. Mm -hmm. So the first thing to mention is that we're kind of going live with Bob and Kelly more regularly now. Yeah. Um, we enjoyed it so much that, <laughs> and I think they did as well. <laughs> so we've decided to go live, you know, once on their channel, then on our channel, then on our channel. We can keep doing that all day. Um, so we've kind of got some topics planned. But we did want to see if you guys had anything you want us to talk about on those lives. Absolutely, yeah. Any questions, anything you want to say, anything you want us to do, any top topics you want us to cover. Um, yeah, they're really, really fun. I really, really enjoy the, the lives. They're always a great couple of hours. Yeah, so just pop that in the comments if you've got anything you'd like us to discuss or any topics that you think might be interesting to talk about on a live that we might not have thought of. But we do have um, some good ones coming up. Yeah, I think our next live is 20th of September. Mm -hmm. All going well, because I know Bob and Kay have got Bob and their computer at the moment, so all going well, it'll be 20th of September. Yeah, <laughs> um, so we've obviously started using the green screen. You'll, yes. Um, we started using that in August, I think August. It yeah, must have been. been. It's just after your birthday. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really love it. I think it looks a lot better than just a plain wall. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've got a light, light in better so it's not a shadowy we've got another light coming yeah so just you you probably won't be able to tell because of the green screen but just over my shoulder here is a shadow yeah um so we're hoping to put another we've got we use a softbox light at the moment yeah. so we're hoping to get another big softbox light to just go like Side. You can't see because you're looking at me, but just like that, basically, in yeah. front of us. Um, and hopefully that'll make the green screen a lot easier. Um, iMovie is really good for it, actually, because although the green screen is where like I find a lot of our limitations are with the, with the iMovie yeah. as an editor, but um, for if you're just basic green screening, um, it does have like a tidy up tool, which does seem to work quite well. So. If you talk about editing, I think we will maybe look at a different editor very soon because it is got limitations like you say to it yeah so i really want to look into the adobe one but yeah. it's quite pricey like it's not mega pricey but it's quite pricey per month you know it's an expense that you don't really want to pay out so I yeah think we'll probably sit with that movie for a little bit because it does everything we want it to do um and then move on when we've got maybe some time to learn yeah how to use yeah it. i think we'll look into it Mm -hmm. um, so then we are super super close maybe we'll have hit it by the time this video goes live fingers crossed but I'm not sure <laughs> but we're super super close to our watch time that's now that's exciting that's really exciting mm -hmm. yeah we did think we would have Disney videos like gone up now right yeah so yeah. We, we thought for sure we'd have hit our watch time by now um, but obviously with the current state of the <laughs> world the the illness that will not be named, yep. um, we didn't. And that's completely fine because we've been enjoying it, but we have also feel like we've, this month, or for me especially, this month and maybe last month, kind of started to get into a groove of it now. Absolutely, um, yeah. It just feels a little bit smoother, a little bit better, you know, so once we hit those watch times, I don't know, it just feels I, like an achievement. I definitely agree. I think it helps to have a, a set up, um, always set up. You just, we just come into your, your room now and we know we're gonna film. Yeah. Um, and that helps massively, I think. Yeah. You kind of go into YouTube mode yeah. when you like come into the room. <laughs> Not that it makes a difference. I mean, you see the vlogs, so you know that yeah. this is what we're like anyway. So then we always mention our top videos. Um, of so obviously, one of them is the live. You guys always like surprise me with how many of you join us and chat, and I really, really love it. Yeah. Um, so that was our. Oh, I've done it backwards. That was our number one video. <laughs> okay. And the then, live's always great. I, I love the live. I love the fact that that comes up first most of the time yeah i think we're definitely gonna think about doing a live in um devon if the wi-fi is good enough Hopefully, as well yeah um i'd really like to do that i think maybe i'll pull some interesting questions from the internet and we can have a discussion that'd i think good. that would be really nice yeah like, that'd be good i will obviously let you know the dates of that and if we'll have to see if the wi-fi is good enough for it first it says it is so hopefully it says <laughs> it is but so does disney and their yeah. wi-fi is a little bit shocking, yeah that's so. true but hopefully we can do that that would be really cool um 
yeah so the other two are vlogs so it's vlog 15 which was strawberry picking and bath i think maybe it was the bath bit that swayed that because strawberry picking was great <laughs> but um the bath shopping i know a lot of people are interested in bath city yeah and it, it's got a lot of history a lot of, lot of famous people go there yeah um i mean like enough to live what 20 minutes, minutes away from it so yeah um, we go yeah a lot so a lot of people say they like bath when we put up so mm -hmm. that makes kind of sense yeah the next vlog was vlog 17 and that was when we went to oxford so i think along the similar lines yeah, which yeah. is good to know because we do like exploring new places and old places and places we've been <laughs> so if those are what you kind of want to see well that kind of works for us absolutely yeah we love it okay so moving on to favorites um so only one of these is a TV film kind of <laughs> thing and that is because we have done our what we watched in August video so I'll leave that linked up there yep. um, but we put the office down we finished the office in August we did uh, eventually mm. I and mean, it went on for so so long but yeah if you want to know more about that go check out that video but yeah it was good I enjoyed the last series we still must have <laughs> liked it because we made our favourites list yes yeah um, so I've been listening to a podcast called The Manifestation Babe um, is, I just listened to it on iTunes po I, Apple Podcasts is that what it is iTunes uh, Podcasts Apple, Apple podcast. Apple that sounds better. <laughs> this podcast, maybe it's just how she speaks. I don't know, but something about the podcast makes me feel more positive, and I think it definitely can't hurt to, you know, give off positive energy for the things that you want, and like kind of brush off the negativity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I mean. She does go into like the laws of like attraction and all of that, which they're the bits I'm not convinced about. But I mean, maybe it's true. I don't know, but. <laughs> The positive energy bits and the way she's talking about like reaching your goals and stuff, that's the kind of things that I like. So, okay, no, I, I like more positivity stuff, yeah, so yeah, anything like that's all good. So, we both put down the Gusto Box. We've been doing the Gusto Box for a little while. This is obviously not sponsored, although I do know they do sponsor a lot of people, so there are a lot of people like saying good stuff, but this is like honestly what we think. Yeah, no, we've been doing that for a while now. Yeah, but the last month we really enjoyed most things that we, we got. Did. So, yeah. um, it, you know the meals were really yummy so like there's been other months where it's been okay but this month or last month what's your favorite um i always like the sandwiches or the burgers, the burgers yeah they're really nice um i think the the cottage pie that was really nice as well mm. and uh, it had a curry pie kind of oh thing. yeah that was, really good. that was good yeah so it's been a lot yes ma'am right. yeah so i always mention a book that i'm reading in these videos and that is because i only really get through like one or two a month <laughs> so the one i'm reading is generally my favorite okay but this is what i'm reading at the moment i'm nearly done with it um it's what i read through august it's the mime order by samantha shannon it's the second book in the bone season um i loved the bone season this one's good um it's got like kind of second book syndrome like it's good but they're building up for something else in the third book i think okay. so cool. i think the third book will probably be in next month if i well i don't have that one yet but i assume i'm gonna get it and then i'm gonna <laughs> read it um it's it's still a really good book so i would recommend this series if you like like dystopian ya okay so, cool um moving on to the everyday every month every day uh, yeah every month <laughs> i say we need to rename this but now it's sort of stuck now yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the everyday um so if you've not watched our trip announcement we booked Devon. We have, I'm really excited about that. Like I say, we meant to have gone amazing holidays at Disney World and Canada by now, so obviously we can do that. So we booked Devon um, as a break and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I think it might be rainy, it might be cold. <laughs> it could be. Um, but I'm okay with that because the week off is just to recharge our batteries, spend time together and Louie and basically goes on the same themes of our Cornwall vlogs um, so kind of the same sort of thing just have time to chill out and explore the area mm. hopefully fly a drone a bit um, so yeah enjoy what's close to us rather than go out elsewhere um, a long way away yeah um, so it's also coming into so John works shit yep he works four on four off so we just had a stint <laughs> of for like his weekends being at work yeah um, that's hard it's not hard it's, it doesn't make much difference to me but it means that I'm off in the weekdays and Emma's at work and Emma's off at weekends and I'm at work so we don't really see each other or do anything then so when it comes to my weekends off it means we can do a lot more and and explore more what's, what's really fun yeah so that means that we're gonna go on some more adventures hopefully yeah um, it's also 
yeah, so we're gonna go and find the drum places. Yeah, I already have a list of places I want to see. So. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm still working from home in case anybody's interested. Um, I feel like it probably will be for the rest of the year. I reckon. Nobody's yeah. mentioned going back yet. Um, we're still trying to be as healthy as we can as well. So. Yes, I was lucky enough to pass my fitness test for Fire Brigade yesterday, um, but that only gives me a three month ticket, so I'm obviously continue to do that. Um, yeah, eating well and hitting the gym. Uh, yeah, so, and it's good for us. It's good to have something in three months where you're working towards what's 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 good at the moment. Yeah, it's not been too bad because, like, we've not been mega, mega strict, but we've been, like, counting calories yeah. most of the time, which I think is working for us, isn't it? Like, yeah. the second, you, like, you tell people, they well, maybe not everybody, but for us, I think, the second somebody says, well, you can't have that, <laughs> we're like, well, I want that. I want fight tricking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so I think yeah. it's, it makes sense for us to be able to have those things in moderation rather than cut them out completely. Absolutely, I'm really, really good. I don't normally treat at all if, if I'm said I'm doing healthy sort of living and healthy sort of lifestyle at the moment then I don't eat any of the rubbish um, I'm really really good unless there's fried chicken around unless there's fried chicken I'm having a day off like last night we, we, we made out a, a fitness test day I'm gonna have a, a, a day off and we're gonna watch a film and we're gonna not worry about what we eat but that happens very rarely now yeah um so next month is John's and Louis's birthday yes it well is. Louis's first so it yep. should be Louis and John's <laughs> birthday Louis is gonna be seven he is. We're gonna have a day vlogging of his birthday. Yeah. I'm gonna try to make some uh, birth doggy birthday cake. I think we're <laughs> gonna try and make biscuits because we've seen this thing on. Um, I can't. Is it called Wigwags? Yeah. I feel like the shop is called Wigwags. You can Google it. They post their treats out. So. Um, not sponsored, but I guess I'll leave a link to them below if you're interested. Um, but they make like all of these cute little dog biscuits and yeah. they do like an afternoon tea set with like donuts and little biscuits for dogs. So the plan is to buy that for him yeah. and then see if we can make our own biscuits. Yeah, it could so be a disaster because we're anyone, not great at baking. anyone see any of the stuff we tried to bake, it has never came out right. But biscuits <laughs> can't be that hard. We said that last time when yeah. we made funnel cake. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then Louis going to taste test them. Yeah. He doesn't know this. Well, he's here, but he doesn't look that interested. So, so. that could be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so for John's birthday, um, we'll probably vlog that as well, but I can't well, why not? say anything because why? John's sat there. <laughs> so you'll find out when he finds out. All I know is we've got to go to a Etsy shop that is someone's house and it's an old person. No, that's not what I said. <laughs> I, I said I bought something online and we have to go and pick it up and John's made this story up. Why would you have to pick it up? That doesn't make sense. And we've made an appointment. <laughs> but you'll find out when um, yep. John finds out because I don't want to tell you. Um, we're going live on the 20th with Bob and Kelly. All going well. Like I said earlier, beginning of this video, they got a bit of technical issues at the moment. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that we can go live then. If not, we just change the date and let you guys know. Yeah. And also, oh, I wrote fun vlog coming up, trust me, <laughs> but I can't tell you what it is because it involves John and John's there. Why, what is it? Um, going to that shop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Disney news. So um, Disney brought out Mulan on Disney Plus um, with premiere access. They did, we done that last night, we watched that last night. Uh, we done a reaction review type of video, so if you want to see that, go and check it out. I'll leave it up there. Yeah. <laughs> so some more of the restaurants at Disney World are starting to open up, which is fun. That is fun, that's getting, getting back to sort of normal, which yeah. is good. Um, yeah, I think Epcot got most of their restaurants open now, and same as studios. Yeah, I still don't think Space 220 is going to open <laughs> and that's, to be honest, that's the only one I've been waiting for. Like, I'm quite happy normally to eat wherever, yeah. um, but when they announced Space 220, and I, if you watch for a while, you know I, I love space, I was like, oh yeah, I'm into that. <laughs> and then we were like, we'll book it, and then they were like, you can't go on your trip, and also all the restaurants are closed, yeah. and also we're not, we're not doing any <laughs> construction. So now I don't think Space 220 is going to be open in February, if it opens yeah. at all. So. That's okay, we just look forward to that when it does open. But I think all the other restaurants, you got to, is it walk up and you see if they got a reservation rather than pre-book? Oh, I don't I think know. it's a walk up. I, ha I I got an inkling. I think I read somewhere, um, and I think That's interesting. I think you go to the park and sort of say if it's open. Uh, I can book it now rather than a free book time. So that's that could be fun. Yeah, I mean, Bob and Kelly can definitely tell you more about yeah. the booking process. So obviously, I'll leave a link to their channel there. But um, 
we're, we're really excited to go and see like what it's all like. We're fingers crossed for February. <laughs> we are. I'm really, really hoping about February. So yeah, positive vibes. <laughs> yeah, and the Polynesian is getting a Moana themed makeover. Yes, I'm. I don't know what I feel about this. I I don't like hotel to be themed. However, I don't mind the theme to be in like the foyer, the the where everyone is. I don't I just don't like rooms to be too themed. And it kind of had um, that sort of theme in it anyway, um, mm -hmm. that kind of feel to it. So I, I think it should be. I think it would be really really good. I think. Personally, <laughs> I like a themed hotel. Yeah. Um, and we both like Moana, so I don't yeah. think it'll be bad. The only thing that um, is a little bit like oh is because it's it's going to be closed until 2021. Yeah. Um, which means that we might not be able to like use the facilities there. I don't know if it's open yeah. when we go in February and we had planned on checking out the bars. Yeah, so. they're stunning. Um, it's a stunning area right in front of the, the castle. It's, a, it's an amazing area. Um, so hopefully they do it. I mean, I'm sure they do it justice. Disney doesn't do things badly. So mm. I'm sure it'll be amazing. Yeah, so that's our August wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're not already subscribed, because I know like a chunk of you <laughs> that watch our videos are not already subscribe why not just hit the we subscribe do. button <laughs> down there and um, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video absolutely thanks for watching guys take care bye, bye.